black and white film photography has always been just an incredible way to capture real life with the grain and the tones, the beautiful contrast. And today I'm gonna to give you a recipe for your Fujifilm camera, which will put probably the only black and white film simulation you'll ever need into your camera. Unlike film like Kodachrome, which has gone from the world now, sadly, Kodak Tri X 400 is actually still available and is a really popular film if you shoot a film camera. And I wanted to put it onto my Fujifilm camera because I love shooting the black and white film but I don't shoot film anymore. So I really wanted to kind of have a way of shooting a filmic black and white image, but on my modern camera. And so I set about to kind of create my own version. And the thing I love about the Kodak Tri X400 is that, you know, it's a faster film, 400 ISO. That's what the 400 was for, but it's got a beautiful grain to it and its tonality is so rich. You can just see by the images, especially on a day like today where it's a bit bright, the images just capture these beautiful tones and textures. And with that lovely grain as well, you just get a really fantastic image. The thing I love the most about black and white film is that you can't hide in that image. You know, I love simplicity, I love minimalism, and I feel like black and white photography lends itself to that kind of style. You know, you really can't hide in that image. There is a powerful image about one thing, and that's what really draws me to black and white photography is that, you know, you, the tones are, you know, so true to, you know, being black, being white there is that kind of one thing or the other, and that contrast is really powerful. I get a lot of questions asking me about the music that I use on my YouTube channel. Well, I use a company called Epidemic Sound, and they've got a huge collection of music really purposely written for everything from YouTube channels to uh, personal to projects, films, everything. Um, so click the link below in my description and there's a free 30 day trial there for you. Yeah, so make the most of that. Once you input the recipe into your camera, um, just remember, like with any other recipe, your camera will have to process the image as a JPEG and it will take a second or two to store the image onto your camera uh, on your SD card. So it won't be snappy snappy. <laughs> <laughs> 